Hello everyone, my name is Damien, welcome to Irish Fido. First of all, I just want to say sorry for the voice that I had to put it over. I had a problem with the camera, unfortunately. Hope you guys don't mind that. Now, um, it's a Saturday morning, it's the 28th of August, and I'm heading to Loch Mokno for a great event called All Island Fido Club Championship and a Qualifier. Yes, it is a qualifier for a, um, it's a qualifier to a FIDA World Championship, which is in Italy next year. Now there's ten teams all together, and there's five anglers in each team. That's what it is. Now a few words about the rules, the most important rules anyway. Uh, your rig it has to be a free running rig. Uh, you can't use a, a paternoster or a helicopter rig. Nothing like that. It's not allowed. Uh, another thing is uh, a hook length. It has to be a minimum 50 centimeter long. You can use your platform, but only up to your knees. You can't go any deeper with the platform, uh, if you know what I mean. Uh, there's no pre-baiting time, a casting overhead only. You can, you can plumb your swim only by using a bum. You can't do that with a feeder. Now, uh, once you're fishing, you can't use the bum, feeder only, then. There's more, of course, but I, I just won't go through all these rules now, anyway. Now, about the mixes, a few words about the mixes today. Um, I'm going to have two mixes, one for Roach, which is G5 and a Super Crack Roach from Vandenai. They're both from, from Vandenai. And the other mix is uh, Census Brem is black for skimmers and breams. Now, I think I'm to set up two lines. Uh, one about uh, 20 meters. I don't want to go over that anyway. And another line uh, will be about 35 to 50 meters. But it's just depending on the peg I'm going to get. I don't know yet until I plumb up and see. Uh, another thing, uh, road I'm going to use today, um, it will be a Tubertini uh, concept, 13 foot up to 100 grams, that's for my long line. And the short line, it will be Tubertini Atrex, it's up to 50 grams as far as I know. It's 10 foot rod and that's for my short line. It's a great rod for speed fishing. I just arrived to Castle Blaney. Now I'm heading to a service station to get my breakfast and a coffee. And then I'll go to a tackle shop where I'm gonna meet all the lads from the team. We have a quick chat and we wait for the draw. The draw will take place on White Island as usual. Uh, only captains allowed to go for a draw. We just have to wait outside until we get the message with the peg number uh, and then just head straight to the pegs and get ready that's that's what it is I just arrived to my peg, uh, which is Conqueror Upper, peg number 96. Never fished here before. It's quite tight, as you can see. 
Um, but that's what it is. That's what it looks like anyway. Now I'm going to make my mix uh, for Roach, uh, which is G5 and a Super Crack Roach, the boat from Vandenoy. Uh, it's mixed 50-50. The other mix is already done. Uh, I've wet it last night. It's the best way to do it. It's just wet it the night before. That's what I think, anyway. Uh, the mix for Roach, I want to keep it quite dry. So I don't use too much water. Now, I, once I wet it, I'm going to leave it for about 20 minutes to half an hour. After that, I'm going to come back and probably wet it again. And leave it for another 15 minutes. Then I'll come back to it. I'm going to push it through the riddle and I'd say it should be fine. Uh, sometimes... Uh, need to be wetted again i mean like a tour time uh, it's all depends on the the ground bait you use to make uh, sometimes it does says uh, at, the, at the back of a bag it does says like how to mix it properly so that's very important thing is uh, if you buy any ground bait just double check that how to mix it properly Casters, very important stuff when you go for road fishing. I'd say you can't go without it. Now, a very important thing is to have a fresh maggots. Make sure you go to a good shop, tackle shop, and you get fresh maggots. That's what they should look like. Now, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I have to give them a quick rinse so i'm gonna throw them into the on the riddle and i'm gonna dip them in the water that's very important just like that now another thing is there's there's always some floating casters so the thing is just to try to get rid of them because they're no good to us all we need is it's sinking maggots, sorry, the casters. Give them a quick shake, quick bath, and that's it. That should be enough. still floating casters now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just throw them into the box and fill up with the water it's quite important uh, to, to keep them in the water because otherwise if you leave them without it without the water they'll just go dry they'll, they'll lose their color they'll just go dark and to be floating again which is no good to us. So keep them in the water like this. Back to my mix after 30 minutes. Um, as I says, I had to, I had to put more water in it because it was too dry. That was for sure. Um, so I add some more water and I left it for another 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And now I'm back again. Um, now I'm going to push it through the riddle. It's quite important thing just to have a nice fluffy mix when you're fishing for roach. As you can see those big lumps, you have to get rid of them. That's why we have riddle. You, you can't just leave those big lumps in, in your mix. Push them all through the riddle. All those big particles that's left on the riddle, I just want to, uh, I will get rid of them because they're no good to me. I always do that. 
Now it's a, it's a nice and fluffy mix. It's quite dry. That's what I wanted. And I'd say it should be good enough for roach. Hopefully, hopefully they like it. Another important thing is uh, sweet corn. We all know how good bait it could be. Now I use a, a chopped sweet corn. That's, that's what it looks like. I just throw a little bit into the mix and throw it into the feeder. That's how I use it. Now to make that, I just use a standard food chopper. Just simply throw your sweet corn in it, close the lid, pull the handle, just like that. And that's it, you have it done. It's very easy, very simple. I use that as well for worms, to chop the worms. Uh, about a half a kilo, skimmer. 